So, we got an Egyptian craft book out of the library. And in that Egyptian craft book, there is an idea of how, how to make an Egyptian mummy out of toilet paper roll. And I got my toilet paper roll. Step one. Push a ball of newspaper into the tube. Put a head on. This might be a little much. Okay, yeah, that is too much. That might be enough. Ball, not a new paper lump. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need more. Okay. Too much, too much, not enough. Okay, let's try this. That, that looks just about the same on that one. not fitting. This might be, once again, too much. We're not going to get the right amount. Okay. Tuck, tuck, tuck. There. Uh, uh. Okay, that's all right. Okay. On to the next step. I almost finished taping on the head. I used clear tape. Doesn't exactly matter because you're not really going to see it, but color tape's kind of the only tape I have. There's a messy spot right here. There. And the next, well, it's the same step, but I need to fold pieces of newspaper for the arms. So. My newspaper. I'm gonna have to take some. Okay, then it's much. That might be okay. Ah! Okay. Tearing, tearing. Full of the newspaper. Okay, that's a little long. Oh, I can tear this in half and I can have two arms now. like a little bump and indent to the arm. So I go back right here. There. Okay. Step two. Put a stone in the tube. Here's our stone. Okay. Cover the end with cardboard. Okay. We use the cereal box. I did not like that cereal. <coughs> I 
I'm going to put a piece of tape on all four corners just for some extra help. One more piece. And it is all done. Now we just have to apply the newspaper strips and we're going to get that ready. Okay, now we're going to add newspaper strips to our mummy. I already have one on. Just a light little dip. Dip. Ah, what a fold. And then just a foldy, foldy, foldy. Okay, this is yucky. <laughs> Is this even going to fit in the container? Come back here. Ah! Mm, da -da. Whoa, don't slip. Okay. Uh, ah. Put on the head. Cover up the head and stuff. This is yucky. My hands are all sticky. I can hardly tell what is covered by newspaper glue or, or not because it's all newspaper. Hard to tell. And I'm going to need some more glue. And these spots in this thing. That little spot right there. Just yuck, yuck, yuck. I would not like to be a mummifier if I was an Egyptian. I would just like to stay home and do my farming, probably. At least I didn't have to do any pulling out any guts. Just doing a wrapping. Okay. I finished putting on the glow and my, my hands are gross. And I'm going to try and make some cat ears because I really like cats and it says you can make a cat mummy. Ah! Okay, this is hard. So first I'm going to cover it with glue so that it gets really stiff. Nice. I'm going to fold it so that it gets pointy. Like that. And I'm just going to make it thick and pointy and all of that stuff. Like ah, there's one ear. Now I'm folding the other ear. This one isn't going to look quite as good. Oh no, it's falling down. Little cat nose. Oh, my hands are disgusting. Okay, I think I'm all done. Now it just needs to dry and then we can paint it. It's been a few days and it's stuck to this cardboard. And that is exactly why I put it on a piece of a cereal box so that I can just cut it out and then it has a tiny little sand. But I got some metallic, metallic gold paint. And my paintbrush and my palette, and I'm going to paint this little guy. Shiny. In there. Get the little ears.
since I had a really big brush, I'm taking a little brush and I'm getting in where the little holes, newspaper, crinkle stuff. Trying to fill in some of these holes. Yeah, it's looking much better now. Can get in there. Scratch behind the kitty's ears. Oh, is that the back or the front? <laughs> There's like a hole in there. Oh no. Ah, dribble dribbles. Okay, now I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna let it dry, but I'm gonna add some blue paint for pretend limestone detail. Like, it's gonna be like some eyes, a little face, you know, little things like that. And now I have to clean this up. Most fun part. Okay, I'm almost done with my mummy. It's this. It's estimated like a week long process. But we kind of gave it like two days to dry. It probably tastes like about one day, but anyway. Here's how I painted my mummy. I kind of leave like some black tips of the ears here. And like some hairs there, like some the eyes, and the nose, and the mouth, and the whiskers. And the crossed arms, and don't forget the tail. Okay, I think my mummy's done. So I'm just gonna wait like till tomorrow and then I'll show you the finished product when it's all like dry and probably cut it off of this thing here. And then it'll be done. You don't really have to do the same pattern as me, but I just chose a cat. See, get the book. If you look at the book, you can either do a person or a cat. I kind of like the idea of a cat. And I didn't need to do it exactly like the book. I just kind of went my own way. My mom kind of wanted me to put some hieroglyphics on it, but I just like some detail and all that. 